Hey y'all, this is Port 1119 of Head Frame Hunters. We're here in uh, Hardin County, Illinois at the Crystal Mine. The Crystal Mine was a floor spar and uh, other mineral mine, probably galena, um, yeah, galena, barite, calcite, etc. Closed in 1972. We're here inside the mill. Uh, there's some equipment here that'll look pretty familiar. If uh, you watched the Hudson mine video I uploaded a bit ago, we got a uh, spiral concentrator or classifier here. Uh, it's an ore bin up there, or possibly process chemical tank. The equipment down here has been uh, kind of stripped out, however. We can see a shop area in there. It might have been a flotation cell. And then what is most definitely the flotation, uh, flotation portion of this mine. These are uh, flotation cells for separating valuable ore off of um, valuable, valuable minerals from the ore and waste rock otherwise known as gang. Um, so I did some research last night and DWP plants, as we uh, saw them at the Eagle Bab Mine, it stands for Dino Whirlpool, which leads us to believe it's some kind of, uh, it's a heavy media process that probably uses some kind of centrifugal separation. Uh, it kind of runs it all through a centrifuge to separate stuff out by specific gravity and then pulls the floor spar out. It pulls about 90-94% of the floor spar out and the waste from that is then run through the flotation circuits to pull zinc or lead or more floor spar out. So pulling out the lead is particularly important because it occurs in the form of lead sulfide or galena and when the floor spar is used to manufacture hydrofluoric acid, it'll actually pre pre precipitate out the elemental sulfur into the acid, which is bad. We're not going to go into this part of the mill. Um, the floor is all wood, and it's already fallen through and started to sag in places. We're going to observe it from a nice safe distance. and not really go inside. You may be asking uh, how we came to this mine. We actually got permission from the uh, mining company that owns this property. They're uh, actively mining limestone and uh, some floor spar from the property via surface methods. And uh, we talked to them, checked in at the mine office, went over some procedures and frequencies, and uh, came right on. This isn't one that you can just drive up to. You got to do some prep. Uh, this here is a, a door thickener tank, which you've probably heard me talk about quite a few times. It'll be used to kind of dewater concentrates and... Uh, get it in a saleable condition to where it can be smelted. We've seen a lot of wood construction in uh, this district, Kentucky, Illinois floor spar. This door thickener tank is entirely made of wood bound together with steel straps. It's kind of an unusual form of construction. Uh, I have not seen that before. So there may be an added at this one. Um, we're not sure in what kind of condition it would be in or if it would be safe to access. But I think we're going to go start looking for that soon. Equipment under this little shed. Um, we think this was the jaw crusher. So the primary crusher at this mine. Um, it looks like it was only used for surface mining related stuff because as far as we know any adits are down there near the mill and this road up here uh, goes to some logging cuts and then uh, I think there's a little bit in the way of uh, surface cuts up there as well. 
This is kind of looking down that road. The drain or vent pipe we found was up was up there. And then there's kind of uh, a dumping ground for the active mine. Just old trucks and tanks and stuff. Around the top of the mill, you can uh, see down into it here. There's the spiral classifier or concentrator. Uh -huh. um, Dan, that's a good photo waiting to happen. It is. I took some good photos there. Good. See the thickener tank here. It's uh, turned into a swamp. I'm gonna see if I can get up there. Okay. Yeah, the adit should be up that away. Um, there's one of those tanks we were looking at earlier, and uh, a process water tank there. I'm not entirely sure. So there were a couple dump points up here, as well as a jaw crusher. So we're kind of working our way up the hillside towards the mine. And uh, may yet find an edit, but we're not really sure. I don't even know if this is a a trackless or a tracked mine. I'm guessing trackless, given as it operated into the 70s, but who really knows? I got a, I think it was a, probably a pump pipe here at the crystal mine. We've been hearing weird noises when we drop stuff down it. So there's water down there and it also sounds like the pipe curves. And something else that we don't know. It sounds no like the water's idea. moving. It kind of does. Let's try to figure out what's going on down there. It's interesting. This structure here, at the base of the mill, is the uh, scale house here at the crystal mine. It'll be used for weighing trucks coming in and out. There's a pit down there where it all would have been machinery would have been mounted. Most all of it's kind of rotten through. In the base of the mill, this is under the flotation cells. It's basically a diesel and electric motor graveyard. This is probably uh, all from trucks and uh, any other trackless equipment they used here. Eh, that halfway looks like a hoist motor, maybe with a jaw crusher attached to it. Danger, do not enter. I am not entering. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, where you can see a floor collapse in the flotation plant. Flotation equipment is all up there, and the roof timbers are kind of starting to bow under the weight. I think that uh, this mill dates back to the 1920s or so, which is why it is so reliant on wood construction as opposed to just pure concrete. So it would have run for 50 years, which is pretty impressive. Looks like uh, complete wheels for a, a dump truck. Electric motors. The weeds here are pretty high. It's kind of damp, so it halfway wants to act like wetlands. Inside the scale house. And this is a bag filler, probably for bags of spar. I'm gonna check out this area over here next.
the uh, rest of the flotation plant. You can see flotation cells up there. Uh, under here, there were some assorted tanks that uh, kind of collapsed off their foundation sometime in the last 45 years. There's some uh, cool equipment down here. A lot of it's new junk, fire extinguishers. Uh, something from uh, January 31st of this year. Looks like, uh, I don't know, we call them cylinder heads or something for a uh, caterpillar loader, haul truck, air filters. Um, again, this is on uh, part of the property for uh, an active limestone, sandstone, and uh, spar mine. So there is going to be junk from active mines, including uh, an engine block, it would appear. Another one back that way. Yeah, we found a bunch of engine blocks here. Um, got a little hoist or spool thing that would have been hooked up to an electric motor. That's kind of cool. Uh, Whatever that is, maybe a heater or an air compressor. Some sort of piston operated. Gearbox component. Go ahead and don't go under the terrifying collapsing wood floor. Yeah, fair enough. This is about the same age as uh, Federal Number 4, and it shows it. This is what would happen if Federal Number 4 had been made of wood rather than poured reinforced concrete and worked into the 70s. Deer, you said? Yep. That's not a surprise. We heard something down by uh, one of the ponds or lakes outside of the tailings dump. It, uh, it, if we'd been back in Florida or Texas, I would have sworn it was a gator. Whatever it was, it was big, loud, and near the water. Very splashy. Yep. Where this is. Something. Brake supply for heavy equipment. Yeah, so it's. <laughs> Trash pandas. No, I don't blame him. Yeah, that's deer and, yeah, something like a raccoon or maybe a, some of this almost looks like a dog, dog tracks too. Couldn't tell, tell you how old it is though. This is all sheltered. Some of these have been here for years. Easy. A lot of them in different sizes. This must have been a kind of crazy place to work. It would have been extremely loud in here. Oh, look, long thing. <laughs> Old. Would have been extremely loud in here. I bet this uh, building rattled like nobody's business when the mill was running. Mm -hmm. We haven't actually found mills yet. I might have pulled those out. There were other mines in the district that were worked after this one. I told you it's loud. Found Gail her uh, very own haul truck. Had a uh, right front wheel come off somehow. They got it. Wish they could run. I'd drive it. Uh, uh, me too. I saw some photos of this place back in the 80s. Um, it doesn't look like it's changed a whole lot. I mean, probably some stuff is settled or collapsed a bit, but otherwise the mill looks identical. 